We're quite proud of the fact that the Houston Country Club grew up basically as the, at the same time as Houston. The founders were really the leaders of the Houston business community. So the founders of Humble Oil, which eventually was Exxon, one of the founders of Texaco, Howard Hughes Sr., Jesse Jones, very big in the Roosevelt administration, Captain James A. Baker, who is James A. Baker III's grandfather, and then the estate of William Marsh Rice. And it was formed as a golf club and we were down kind of close to downtown area and it's moved around several times and in 1956 we moved up to this area. Robert Trent Jones came in and helped develop this golf course. It opened up in about 1958 with then the new clubhouse in the Tanglewood area of Houston. The history of Texas golf in many ways started at Houston Country Club. In 1911, Houston Country Club, one of the founding members of the Texas Golf Association, held the first Texas amateur on an 18-hole golf course. The Houston Invitational Tournament started in 1914 and continued until 1954. It was one of the premier amateur events in the United States. We had players from all over the country come to Houston Country Club. In the early 30s, Bobby Jones did exhibition match with uh, Jack Burke Sr. And then probably the most famous exhibition match that uh, Houston Country Club held was in 1964 with the Shell's wonderful world of golf match between Ben Hogan and Sam Snead. Mr. Hogan won that match. I've been a member of the club since uh, <laughs> 1956. That's a pretty good long while right there. Played a lot of golf at the Houston Country Club as a kid. But then I got interested in tennis, and I became a tennis bum. My doubles partner was George Bush, who was a good buddy of mine. And that's really where we bonded, was on the tennis courts of the Houston Country Club. And he was a great partner, perfect partner for me, because I had good ground strokes, and I could lob people to death, and he was good at the net, but we both had worst serves in tennis. I used to joke, even when we were up in Washington, that uh, George Bush had a serve that was so weak that he could run around the court in time to return it. Houston Country Club is a family club. And I think the important thing is we talk about the Bushes and the Bakers, but they came in as family members and they adopted the same casual, friendly attitude that everybody has at this club. It's really a family club, first and foremost, but it's also centered a lot around golf. We have almost 1,300 members. Every member is allowed to play golf. Over 800 are members of the MGA, and over 200 of those members are members of the WGA, both Men's Golf Association, Women's Golf Association. So you can kind of see almost everybody is somehow plays golf, affiliated with golf, very knowledgeable about golf. The Houston Country Club has two notable inventions related to golf. Houston Country Club member Edwin Kerr McLean invented the sand wedge and had it patented in December of 1928. That sand wedge was used by Bobby Jones in the 1930 British Open. Subsequently, in 1931, the sand wedge was ruled illegal because of a concave face. Gene Sarazen, working with another Houston Country Club member, Howard Hughes, they were able to modify the sand wedge to what it is today. Another important invention that occurred at Houston Country Club was the first powered golf cart. It was patented in 1949. Dick Jackson had some ailments. He was a very active golfer at Houston Country Club, but because of his ailments, he was not able to walk 18 holes any longer. And so he invented the, the golf cart. This place is unbelievable. I mean, the culture here, the way people treat each other, just a very easygoing atmosphere, at the same time with massive respect for the game and the rules and the way it is played. 